today, May 23rd, Warner Brothers Pictures released the official full trailer for this year's highly anticipated sequel, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Of course, the sequel to Tim Burton's 1988 classic, which reunites Burton with original cast members, including Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara, and of course, new cast members playing new characters, such as Jenna Ortega, Justin Thoreau, Monica Bellucci, Willem Dafoe, and others. And today, the trailer dropped. Um, it's been out for a few hours now. I've watched it quite a few times, and um, we're going to do a little breakdown. We're going to take a look at a series of screenshots that I grabbed from the trailer. We'll look at them in sequence as um, as they appeared in the trailer. And, um, and I'll point out just some of what I noticed, some of what has me extra excited. Um, of course, I'm looking... For that all-important hallow sphere, the Halloween atmosphere, and um, not too much in this trailer, I'll have to say. Um, that might be my only, um, I don't know, my only disappointment with the trailer, not too much, but that's not to say none at all. I did find a little bit, so um, we're going to be digging into all of that, um, because like I said, we do know that this movie takes place, if you didn't know, uh, during the Halloween season, at least part of it, if not all of it. And we know this um, thanks to a lot of photos that surfaced from the set when they were filming in Vermont last year. And um, a lot of decor was spotted on the set. So um, this trailer not leaning into that aspect very much. But uh, the very first image in the previously released teaser trailer did feature pumpkins and Halloween decorations. If you remember, watch my breakdown of the teaser. Um, if you haven't already, for more on that. So, with that, let's dive in to this Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice official trailer breakdown. So, the trailer opens with a shot of Lydia Dietz, once again, played by Winona Ryder, reprising her role, of course, from the original film. And um, there's some lightning going on, and, and we get this first image of Lydia and it's really kind of cool because she's kind of welcoming welcoming us the viewers back into this world of Beetlejuice but at the same time it also seems that she's welcoming viewers within the film perhaps now it is possible that some of this was was shot or done specifically for this trailer but I think this is actually in the film and if I'm reading it correctly Lydia might be a horror host, kind of Elvira-esque, um, because here she is saying, here's a little preview. I want to warn you, though, it's it's really intense. And of course, you know, on the TV screen there, the very vintage TV screen there next to her, of course, we see it's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. But um, in the film, it very well could be that it's Lydia introducing, you know, a horror movie on the local horror channel. Now, it is interesting to note that it looks like this is being shot in the attic, though, and we'll see more of this as the trailer goes on, but it looks like that is the the model of the town in the back to the right over um, behind the TV there. Of course, Adam Maitland's model town from the original film, and, and we know that they're going to go back into the attic and all that from later scenes in here, so I don't know what's going on here, but if Lydia did grow up to be a horror host at this point in her life, um, a la in Elvira, I think that's pretty awesome and, and kind of fitting for, for what we know about Lydia. So from there, um, we get the Warner Brothers logo. And then, of course, the trailer goes back to the cemetery. And these portions we saw in the teaser. Um, it's the reunion of the Dietz women. And this time, however, it is revealed what we suspected um, from the teaser, but now it is confirmed whose funeral they're at. And it is uh, Lydia's dad and Delia Dietz, seen here, played once again by Catherine O'Hara. It's Delia's husband, Charles Dietz, um, who has passed away. And that is what has brought them all back to um, Winter River, the town from the original film, the house. And um, here they are at the cemetery for a funeral. And again, we see some of these shots of um, the returning 
characters of uh, Lydia and Delia and um, Jenna Ortega as Astrid. Here, our first look at Delia in the new film. Now, in this trailer, it goes a bit further this time. We get um, some conversation after the service with uh, Lydia and her daughter Astrid, played by Jenna Ortega. Um, and they're talking, that's when it's revealed that it is uh, Astrid's granddad who has died. And, um, and she makes the statement that uh, maybe death would actually be easier than life. Astrid makes that statement and Lydia gets a little worried because it sounds a little bit kind of the way Lydia, very uh, dark, strange, and unusual, would talk in the original film. Then we get this great shot of the house from the original film. Of course, it was the Maitland house originally, um, and then the Dietzes moved in. Uh, here we see it is draped in um, a giant black cloth i assume in mourning over charles's death um we saw from some set photos this would be how the house would appear at some point so um i'm guessing this is right after the funeral and of course that statue fans of the original will recognize the statue of course one of delia's pieces of artwork And before you know it, we have Astrid venturing up a very familiar staircase in that house, going up to the attic. We know what she's going to find up there. Um, that's where Adam Maitland from the original film, played by Alec Baldwin, uh, he has his miniature model of the whole town. And that's where Beetlejuice first appeared in the original film, where he will uh, most likely first appear in this film as well. And as Astrid is entering the attic, um, we hear Lydia in voiceover kind of recapping the story that when she was a teenager, a, um, a trickster demon, she calls Beetlejuice, um, tricked her into coming into the land of the living and uh, tried to marry her. And she thought he was gone forever. Now, at this point, we get our first little glimpse of the man himself, the ghost with the most. That's his hand right there in the foreground. And um, you can see at his new place of employment um, he's got a world's best boss mug there and when it pans out you'll see that the uh, name plaque on his desk actually says afterlife call center manager so he is answering phone calls at the afterlife call center um, very much kind of a hell of its own if you will but clearly he's still obsessed with Lydia got her picture as a teenager right there on his desk still all these years later and as Lydia is again talking about their um, almost wedding in the first film, we get this shot, which appears to be in some kind of church, appears to be a giant wedding cake, and, um, and what appears to be Beetlejuice and Lydia on top. Also, there are some musicians playing um, in the background. They're slightly out of focus. And we hear Lydia warning her daughter, don't go into the attic. Don't say his name three times um, because here's Astrid. She's uncovering the, uh, the Maitland's model of the town. And she finds this flyer from Beetlegeist, the bio exorcist. And uh, Lydia says that she thought he was gone forever until Astrid found this flyer. And we get, again, this entry scene. I don't know if it's going to be Beetlejuice's very first scene in the film. Um, but once again, it's the first time we see him in full here, just like in the teaser trailer. Because Astrid has said his name three times to rebel against her mom and um, bring Beetlejuice back. This is just a great shot. The two of them face to face eye to eye once again Lydia completely in shock after over 30 years thinking that chapter was long gone and they look great I mean what what can you say I mean Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice the makeup looks amazing um and of course Winona Ryder looks great as Lydia I love you know the hair still kind of harkens back to her look the way we remember her um 
they look awesome. Now this is our first glimpse um, at the larger afterlife. Um, Tim Burton clearly gonna take us back to the afterlife and show us a lot more about what's happening there. And um, here it's, it's the bus station with departures. And uh, you see what looks like a lot of dead people just uh, kind of milling around. Now, I don't know if Beetlejuice has people working for him. I, I don't know if that's what these guys are doing, but they've got a hold of Astrid here. And um, and she looks really in shock. And the scene just before this almost looked like some of those dancers are going to be, um, or some of those dead folks at the bus station are going to be dancing. Very kind of thriller-esque. Now, here we have Delia finding herself in the afterlife waiting room where last we saw Beetlejuice. Now, I don't know. I mean, the honest question here, does that mean that Delia dies in this film? Does she actually die and go to the afterlife? Or does she somehow end up there um, not dead? And if she is dead, do they bring her back somehow? How's that all going to work out? I have no idea. But uh, here she is with a, uh, a dead Santa Claus. And you can see... The unfortunate um, man in the box to the other side of her. And this is our first look at Monica Bellucci. She's playing a new character named Dolores. And I really love this look. My immediate impression was it, it is, is kind of an homage to Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Obviously all in the Tim Burton world. I think she looks awesome. I think this is going to be uh, a really cool character introduced in this film. Um, there were rumors and reports that she might be playing Beetlejuice's wife or ex-wife or something. Um, I don't know, but in this trailer, we know that she is moving with purpose and she is on the hunt for Beetlejuice. At one point, she's holding one character up by their neck saying, where's Beetlejuice? And around this time, Lydia asked the question... Um, which I guess is going to be one of the central questions of this film, asking, can the living and the dead coexist with each other? Which I thought the first film seemed to answer by the end of it. It seemed like, okay, yeah, they are going to coexist with the Maitlands, the dead, in this house, and, and um, the two families, the Dietzes and the Maitlands, are going to coexist. But as we know, um, things with these legacy sequels, years later, decades later, we find out things don't always work out the way that we thought they were when the credits rolled at the end of that original film. So um, that's she, why they're here, is what she says. And then here's another familiar face from the original film. Um, they're giving Bob the name of a shrinker um, in this film. And he actually got his own character poster today, too. Now, I said there's not much Halloween atmosphere or hints of Halloween in this trailer, and there really isn't, except for this quick shot here. That is Justin Thoreau. He is playing a new character named Rory. And behind him, what we have there is people in Halloween costumes. And we know it is Halloween because if you look closely, they're carrying pumpkin pails. They are out trick-or-treating. This is clearly Halloween night. So, once again, further uh, confirmation or hints of the hallow goodness to come in this film. And this is just a great shot of the two of them. I mean, the lighting here, everything about it, the makeup, it looks on point. So on point. So stoked to see these two back in action. And we get a lot of shots of just a lot of mayhem happening. And out of nowhere, there's this quick shot of an airplane um, about to go down in the ocean. have no idea what's going on there or how that ties in with anything. But um, again, we've seen shots of Delia in the afterlife. Um, so maybe at some point something um, happens to get her over there and Lydia has to call on Beetlejuice for help to go over and bring her back somehow. Um, amid all that chaos, we get a few seconds with this mysterious janitor character who um, might be the great Danny DeVito. He certainly looks a lot like him. He's not been officially announced to be a part of this film, 
But um, that looks a lot like Danny DeVito. Of course, another um, Tim Burton collaborator in um, a few previous films, maybe most notably as the Penguin in Batman Returns, the best Batman movie ever. And we get all of the principal uh, actors and um, great shots of them and their names up in the classic font here at the end. We won't go through all of them, but this is quite notable because Lydia here at that same church where we saw the wedding cake earlier, very notable. She is back in her red wedding dress as seen at the end of the original film. Very curious how that's going to happen. Again, I'm just completely speculating here, but it almost seems like maybe um, Lydia is going to possibly agree this time. Okay, I'll marry you. I'll get in the red dress again if you leave my mom and my daughter alone because uh, it seems like Beetlejuice is going to use Astrid this time to come into the real world the same way he used Lydia all those years ago. And I'm um, speaking of which, there's Astrid, a great look at Jenna Ortega in the role. Um, and I think, again, I've said it before, but I think this is a role that she was made to play. She's been so great in Wednesday, and I think people will compare it, you know, but I think we'll see, um, once we see more of her, that she probably is different than the Wednesday character. But um, but then again, Wednesday has some obvious similarities to Lydia, so it would fall in line. But this is just a great, great look. And another really good look here at uh, Dolores, played by Monica Bellucci. Again, I love the stitched together face. I just think it is just a really cool homage to the Sally character from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Again, it's not supposed to be her. It's, it's not supposed to be her exact look, but I think um, it's a very obvious um, Burton-esque homage to, to keep it within the Burton world, the Burton universe. And here, a great look at Willem Dafoe's character. We know now, thanks to his character poster, that his character's name is Wolf Jackson. And, and uh, there's uh, Bob that you might remember from um, the end of the original film. And again, a gag very right out of the original film and Tim Burton and Michael Keaton have talked about how they've used practical effects and done so much of that, this film, the way that they did it in 88, um, keeping it old school and practical and seeing shots like this in this trailer, um, really lean into that. you got to love that in this day and age. And they've all said that they had so much fun making this movie. And that was a big part of it. They were doing it old school. Um, so the fact that it's going to have that feeling and it looks this great and knowing that it was all done practical. I mean, this is just a great shot um, and just great memories from the original film. And um, speaking of memories from the original film, at one point we see uh, Lydia and Astrid are running together in a, uh, a sandstorm out in the desert. And one of these uh, giant sandworms comes up and is attacking them. And then we get this gag right at the end of the trailer, a callback to the original film, one of the funniest gags in that. And it really just made me laugh out loud this time, quite literally. I was laughing out loud um, when they revisited it this time. Still funny as hell. As Beetlejuice would say, I've seen it 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time. Um, and then the, the very last shot of the trailer is this right here. Um, these two face to face, of course, Delia and Beetlejuice. I got a, I got a feel that B Delia, you know, has a score to settle with Beetlejuice this time around. Um, great to see them in the same frame, face to face, eye to eye, kind of mirroring the shot that we got of Beetlejuice back face to face with Lydia earlier in the trailer. Um, so overall, this trailer just is fantastic, if you ask me. I mean, it's it's really just nailed the tone. Like I said, I mean, the callbacks feel right to me. Um, the look of it, 
obviously, I mean, they, they've got so many of the people that worked on the original film back, and those that didn't work on it are obviously fans of it and students of it and, and are happy to, uh, to recapture that look and, and hear this close up of Michael Keaton, the moss on the face and everything. It just looks outstanding, but so much of, of what we see in this trailer has me so hyped again. If, if I was forced to, um, gripe about anything, it'd be that, uh, no jack-o'-lanterns, no, no more of that Halloween setting. But again, how much of it will actually feature Halloween? Um, it, it might just be some quick shots in the background as um, Astrid is riding her bike through town, which we saw some of that being filmed. You know, it might not play a very big role in it at all, for all we know. Um, but then again, knowing Tim Burton, um, I, I imagine that it probably will. Nonetheless, we are going to see Halloween in the Burton verse, in the Beatle verse, uh, and, and this shot here with Rory does at least confirm that much. Um, man, there, there, there's so many cool shots that have me so excited in this trailer. So I turn it over to you guys now. I want to hear your thoughts. That's my thoughts on this trailer. I think it looks great. Um, I'm super excited for this film. Everything I've seen so far is delivering on everything that has been promised so far. So as long as they can keep the marketing uh, relatively spoiler-free from here on out, um, keep it at this pitch and um, have a movie that actually delivers, well, then I think we're in for something very special this September. But I want to hear what you guys think. And be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss all of our coverage of all things Beetlejuice and Halloween 2024 and beyond and everything else we've got coming your way right here on the HDN YouTube channel. Until then, I'm Matt Arts for Halloween Daily News. Thank you for watching.